So you're living in LA at the moment. How is, how are you finding it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How do you know that? <laughs> Google. Have um, you been going through my bins? Yeah, all the time. I'm, I'm that person. But um, how are you finding it? because I've been throwing out a lot of dirty negligees recently, <laughs> so I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you, you've got a lot of stuff to, <laughs> sorry, go on. I know, I but um, how are you finding it over there? Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd like it. It's very sunny and uh, it's, yeah, it's a fun town, you know. You're just kind of spoiled for choice as a human being living there, you know. Lots of variety, lots of fun, lots of hiking. Great. You know, lots of toy dogs to kick, <laughs> you know, when their owners aren't looking. So, uh, yeah, it's good fun. And what was it about the script of The Road Within that made you want to make the film? Um, I think it's because... The, uh, the character in The Road Within, uh, you know, aside from the fact from being the leading character, as a character who sort of had to contend with great tragedy in his own life uh, and sort of was an outsider looking in, you know, in the sense that he had this debilitating illness that kind of saw, uh, you know, made him separate from the rest of society, made him an outsider. And I think it's, it's fun to play outsiders, you know. I mean, it's fun to explore outsiders. So. I think the fact that he was an outsider sort of appealed to me. Cool. And um, your character has Tourette's. Now, were you a little bit apprehensive about taking on the role because there's a responsibility to kind of do that justice? Yeah, you know what, lucky for me, uh, from, the, from the point that I was sort of cast in the film to the point where we actually started shooting, we had about a five month period. So it was a great time to look, kind of have the character clacking around in my head, but it was also a great time to um, sort of conquer uh, the, the Tourette, or to, to try to make it my own, you know, personalise having Tourette syndrome, and you know, it, you know, we went from intensive bouts of rehearsal to going off and doing other stuff, and then coming back, and uh, and then and then and then after sort of conquering the Tourette and and sort of coming up with my own tics mm. that were which we, you know all people who have Tourette sort of express it in very individual ways, you know, it's very sort of creative in that way. So I had to sort of, uh, c sort of come up with my own sort of tics and stuff. And, um, and then after, after that, and it, it was great, the timing was great because then myself and the director and the other two central characters started collaborating and rehearsing and stuff. And, and I was really sort of comforted by the fact that I, had all these months uh, before we started the, the rehearsal of the drama of the scene, you know. And um, I was watching an interview with the director and she was saying that she gave you a three take max on each scene. Did that put you under like insane pressure or was it okay? Well, it, uh, well you know, uh, it, it, there's, always a, there's always a bit of pressure, but uh, the three take thing didn't, didn't put us under too much pressure because I suppose we'd, we'd done a couple of weeks of rehearsal together, we'd gone through the script with a fine tooth comb, you know. We, uh, like we knew the thing backwards. And so filming it was just, uh, was just sort of another step in that thing. So the, that alleviated the pressure. And um, you know, you, Zoe Kravitz and Dev Patel, it really seems like you really clicked. So when it's such an intensive um, thing filming it, do you really miss them then when it's all over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's a really b bizarre job because, like, I mean, it, it, the job of being an actor, because you sort of, you come together on a job, uh, everybody feels passionate about a project. You give it your all, you kind of become a little weird little family who sort of move around together and sort of give everything to each other. And then, and then you just go off and you do it with somewhere, someone else. It's very much like being dramatic harlots, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's great, it's lovely, you know. But we are, it's, it's sort of like herding cats. So it's, it's, it's nice to work together and it's nice to miss them after.